In 1998, Apple kicked off its hugely successful iProduct range with the release of the iMac computer. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the key changes made to the various iMac models released so far. Starting with the original iMac G3 released in 1998 with a $1,300 price tag, Steve Jobs described the product as a full-blooded Macintosh that satisfied consumers' need to get on the internet simply and fast. It had a CD-ROM drive in place of the traditional floppy disk drive, which was quite a controversial change. Among the G3's features were a 15-inch display, a 233 MHz G3 PowerPC processor, 32 megabytes of RAM, a 4 gigabyte hard drive, and an ATI range graphics card with 2 megabytes of video RAM. In 1999, more colors became available for the iMac G3, and it was also upgraded. The processor went from 233 to 266 megahertz, the storage was up to 6 gigabytes, and the video RAM was now 6 megabytes. One year later, in 2000, the G3 received another upgrade. The processor went to 450 megahertz, the RAM to 64 megabytes, the storage more than doubled to 20 gigabytes, and it had 8 megabytes of video RAM. In 2002, Apple released the iMac G4, featuring a radical new design, which included a stunning 1-inch thin widescreen LCD display. The base model was $1,300 with a 15-inch display, a 700 MHz G4 PowerPC processor, 128 MB of RAM, 40 GB of storage, and a new GeForce MX graphics card with 32 MB of video RAM. The next big change came in 2000 when Apple unveiled its G5 model. Dubbed the world's thinnest desktop computer since it measured just 2 inches thick. The iMac G5 cost $1,300, had a 17-inch display, an upgraded G5 PowerPC processor with 1.6 GHz, which was a big improvement from the previous model, 256 megabytes of RAM, 80 gigabytes of storage, and 64 megabytes of video RAM. In 2005, the iMac received an integrated EyeSight camera. It also had a better 1.9 GHz processor. The RAM, storage, and video RAM all doubled, and the product featured an Intel processor for the first time. In 2007, Apple unveiled a new iMac design, made from glass and aluminum rather than plastic. This model was priced $100 cheaper, was even thinner, had a 20-inch display, a 2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 1 GB of RAM, 250 GB of storage, and had a Radeon HD 2400 XT graphics card. The 2009 iMac was upgraded to a full aluminum unibody design, ditching the plastic backplate. The display was increased to 21.5 inches, the processor to 3 GHz, the RAM got a significant upgrade to 4 GB, and it had 500 GB of storage with 256 MB of video RAM. Apple's slim unibody iMac hit shelves in 2012 and featured a radically thin design, but was missing a CD drive. This model was $100 more than its predecessor and featured a Core i5 processor with better performance despite generating less gigahertz. The RAM was upgraded to 8 gigabytes and the storage to 1 terabyte. It also featured a Fusion drive, which had the speed of a solid state drive without sacrificing capacity. One of the iMac's more recent and significant advancements was the 5K Retina display introduced in 2014, but it came at the cost of $2,500. The display was 27 inches with a 3.5 GHz processor, while the RAM and storage stayed the same. The video card got a huge upgrade with the Radeon R9 M290X graphics card. And finally, in December 2017, the iMac Pro was released. Apple said it was the most powerful Mac ever made, with a steep base price of $5,000. The iMac Pro has a 27-inch display, an Intel 8-core Xeon processor with 3.2 GHz, and an impressive 32 GB of RAM. The storage capacity stayed the same at 1 TB, although it is a solid-state drive, making it faster than its predecessor. The graphics card had another major upgrade to 8 GB of RAM. In March 2019, Apple added an option to increase the RAM to 256 GB and to upgrade the video card to a 16 GB Radeon Pro Vega 64X. 
The iMac remains one of the most popular desktop computers and is actually rumored to receive a radical new design with the transition to ARM processors.